welcome to Angie's Craft Corner. I'm Angie. Today we are going to do a simple watercolor picture. And it's just uh, strawberries. And we're going to use a mixed media book. I love these. These are three bucks at Walmart. 80 sheets. And um uh, I like them because they small. The, this one is eight and a half by five and a half. Perfect size. This is the one I done the other day at a crop. Yes, I take watercolors to a crop, a scrapbooking crop, but oh well. Life goes on. And uh, we're going to try to redo this. And uh, to get the white border, I use painter's tape, masking tape, whatever I have on hand. And y'all, I don't draw. I use carbon paper. So, with that being said, let's get busy. I'm going to put this up where I can see it. And I'm going to. And it's going to be out of view. And I buy these at Walmart, the mixed medias in, at Walmart for like three bucks, like I said. And I take the edges around because I don't like to mess up my other pages when I'm painting. So I'll show you how I do that. Sometimes I'll have this already ready to go, but I've been asked how I do it in my sketch in my books. And my husband says I'm using his expensive painter's tape. He gave it to me. If it comes out to the craft room, it's mine. <laughs> he just don't know it yet. Now this is all in real time. I don't do, I hate doing force overs. So, if it takes 30 minutes, it takes 30 minutes. If it takes two hours, it takes two hours for us to do a video. Hopefully, it won't take us that long. And then I just bend the back, that cover over, and I have just this. Then I just stick a tape down the side to give me my white border. Sometimes it's not straight. I never say it's straight. I just say it's a white border. Then I use a piece of tape to tape it onto my my pattern on my sketch pad or my mixed media and I just use a regular pencil or a soft this is a soft and I'm going to try my best to draw on this lightly And I don't know what lightly means, I promise you. And the dogs is in here, so if y'all hear a bunch of racket, that's why. And why I tape this is because if you need to look at your pattern, I mean, at the deal, you can. And I'm, I'll probably be quiet for a little bit because I start concentrating on what I'm doing and not thinking I'm on camera. The paints that we are using is a Master Touch from Hobby Lobby. <coughs> Thank you. 
I'm going to use a com combination of the two paints of the artist grade and the pan set. Now I'm not doing all the little dots on the strawberries. You can if you want to. I'm just going to go in and add my little black dots. And I've got to move my carbon paper. I need to make sure I got all this. <clears throat> no. So how was everybody's weekend? I went to a crop over the weekend. Had fun. I got six paintings done. I had a really good day that day. So, I, I like having those good days. Okay, I think I got, nope, I did not get it all. Okay. Hey, that's pretty light. That's light enough. Y'all don't even see it on camera. Ain't it? Okay. Now, I am using, and y'all, a lot of my stuff comes from Hobby Lobby because that's one of the places I like to shop. The brushes I'm using is a 16 and an 8, and they are the Fine Touch. I love these things. I love the 16 because it's a big round. they both rounds. I've got my dirty water and semi clean today. I'm too lazy to walk into the house and get it done. And like I said, well, that was cute. Oh, Lordy. See, y'all. See, y'all ain't the only one makes mistakes. I don't have a clean towel. Double. It's just water clean. And I'm using a dirty towel. As y'all can see. It's covered. Alright, let's try this again. We are using um, a deep yellow, a gum buckle yellow, zip green, a crimson. Ultramarina blue, a black, and a violet. Now, the black and the violet is a um, Reeves student grade, grade. I also have handy my Fine Touch 48 pan set in case I need to pour other colors that I'm not thinking of. So, <clears throat> That being said, I got paint all over me. We're gonna get busy, and I'm going to just use my 16, inch, my 16 number 16 round, and I'm gonna go in and put water on my strawberries, just like so. And like I said, my water ain't that really that clean. Cause I'm too lazy to walk in the house and get clean water today. My dogs is having a fit. And with the, this 
paper, you pretty well want to go in and start um, when you get your paper wet, start putting color in because it dries pretty quickly. Well, it does here in Arkansas. Let me rephrase that. And I'm just try, just blending it all in. And if it ain't even, that's fine because that's your where the lights is gonna be. And now I'm just going in to do my next one. And if it bleeds, it's fine. I'm going to move that out of my way before I have paint all over me and the desk. And Not got too much water. And that happens, y'all. And like I say, I'm not saying I know how to do this exactly right. Who knows, I, I'm still learning. But I like, I like doing it. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. I may, if you learn it for me, then you may be long, wrong because I'm pretty well self-taught. I do watch a lot of videos on learning. Okay, and we're just going on into doing the next one. And it's got a pink tint to it. It's fine. Because it's going to be red anyways. It's a strawberry. And then I'm just going in with my, to the next strawberry. We're just giving it that watercolor effect today. I will have a if you get outside the lines, it's no biggie. 
I mean, two strawberries gonna be that bit much bigger. What? Okay, now we're going to let this dry because if we do anything else, it will blend in with it because it's not totally dry yet. And then I'll come back when this is dry and we'll do the leaves. Okay, we are going, I'm back. I've got this dry. I used the heat gun to dry it a little bit faster. We are going in with the leaves and we are going to do the leaves just the same way as we did the strawberries. Except we're going to use Zep Green. And then, uh, I didn't realize I'm in it. So I've seen the time on my camera. But we'll try this to move this along. I usually try to keep my video short, but this one may be a little bit longer. Uh, I've been trying to keep everything semi -shrunk. Who likes to do watercolors? Am I the only one? I know I'm not because there's a lots of people doing it. It's who thinks it's relaxing. Towel. Yep, this old gal's got to get some paper towels. I've got a whole slew of them. I'm just too late to run behind me getting them. Okay, I switched step paper towels. Because this thing holds a lot of water. And that's one reason I like it. Because it does hold a lot of water and paint. And Hobby Lobby has these 50% uh, off. 
like every other week. So you can get them reasonable. I mean, these was less than 10 bucks for a set. Both, both of them came in sets. I like the pink ones. I like the pink ones and I like the black ones. The pink ones came in a pretty good size set. The black ones came in, like, I think, five or six. But the pink ones came in even more than that. And I, I have a tendency to grab the pink ones before I do the black ones. Although I got the black ones before I got the pink ones. Does that make sense? <laughs> Damn, buddy. Okay. Now for the... Leaves on the strawberry. I am going in with my number eight. And I am going to get, just do dry on, wet on dry. And I'm going to look at my reference folks. My. Is anybody else having trouble with sinuses? Or is it just me? I went to the doctor the other day and he said, I, you don't have no infections. I'm like, then why is my nose running? None to nothing. He said, well, the spray I gave you should have dried it up. Well, it ain't. And does, has anybody feel like you smell smoke 24-7? I mean, it's, it's odd. It's an odd feeling. Because you think that your house is on fire and everything else, and you realize, oh, it's just your nose. So if something is burning, I might not know it. I'll think it's just my nose. I mean, it's not funny. I've never had this to happen to me before. And he wasn't too concerned about it, and I'm thinking, this is driving me nuts. But if anybody has had anything and y'all know how to get the smell out of my nose, please leave me a comment and let me know. And if you don't want to leave a comment, feel free to email us at Angie's Craft Corner at gmail.com at any time. I'm going to just add Okay, I am going um, I put my paint in this while, I'll, while I'm not mixing using a whole bunch but I'm going to mix a little bit of my yellow just with a tad of my green I just want it just a little bit of green. Well, I want more yellow. I want like a brownish green. Does that make sense? I like that. And I'm going to do my stems. The 
and this may not be the color I want because this is more yellow. We can tone it down with the green. Yeah, we're going to tone that mask down. But see, y'all, I make mistakes. Y'all just don't realize how many I do make in a day's time. <laughs> Painting, scrapbooking, making cards, whatever. Okay, the flowers I'm going to do, the little, little four little flowers, I'm going to do it in a violet, and I mean a very light violet, and I mean I'm just going to water it down, very hardly nothing, well, probably more than I want, but by no means. Maybe it's too much. Just like so. Okay, the middle is yellow. I'm saying it's yellow. And I'm just going to get just a deep pump and I'm going to just kind of let it spread out like so. They're both little ferns. But it has its own little design. And we're going to do the same for the other two. So, are y'all having cooler weather yet? We still got some. It's cold. It ain't 100 degrees here in Arkansas, but it's still warm. Warmer than what me and my husband like. I promise you. We still run in the ACs. Well, that's dark. I guess we're going to have one dark purple for them. Yeah, I can bleed this out some. But, uh, yeah, we're ready for fall. I can't keep on saying one more week. Well, I'm ready. <laughs> He's with me. Okay. Now, since we've got all that done, we are going over the leaves and the strawberry with a yellow. With the yellow. You can use a dark yellow, a gambridge, uh, any yellow you have on hand. Sorry, I had to have a drink. And I'm just, but I'm going to just water this out, y'all. I mean, it's uh, watery. <coughs> I 
<coughs> Excuse me. Because it's going to give it a This brush is too big. Okay, we're going in with a smaller brush, but a bigger one than an eight. Yes. But I'll be right back. Let's try 16. And this is also a fine touch. It is a set that came with this one with the eight. Yes, Tootsie. Jesse. Yes, Jesse James. You see how much more vibrant that brings brings it? You wanna say hi? Come here. Come here, Jesse. Hey hi. Hey hi. Say hi people. Hi, I'm Jesse. I like to paint. And that's Tootsie. She's jealous. And y'all, they get up in my lap, everything while I'm painting. They're just like kids to me. So, so what do y'all think so far? We are, this may be one of my longest videos, guys, in history. Wouldn't that be funny? Ah, uh, am I else having issues with ants? <coughs> yes, we are going back, coming back over this with uh, green and red. And like I said, you can do this. Ah, uh, that ain't what I wanted. See so, y'all. I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. Uh, oh well. It just gives us a little bit more color. No leaves. Um, well, uh, I don't know what else we can say. My mind just went totally blank. We'll come back and add more of the red and all with this, but uh, it just gives us a, a variety of colors, and it because uh, nothing is just red or green or. It may look like it, but it really is not. And I may not do nothing to these. These look pretty good. It's a few of them. <coughs> so 
Katie. Hush. Okay. <clears throat> While we are letting that dry, we are going in with our 16 and we are going to do the background. Sorry, folks, I am thirsty. Now I am going to lit with my paper. Pre wet it. And like I said, my water is filthy. Even my clean. Now I'm just going to paint right over those lines. And I'm going to hold this up because it's like my light is blurring. Y'all, can y'all believe I got new lights for the stick? my craft ring. We got LED. I'm all LED lights out here now. And these is bright. Oh, Tootsie, shut up. Sorry, folks. I don't know what she's barking at, but she's having a fit. Probably nothing. But no harm. She's probably upset because Jessie's in my lap. Jessie don't usually want up in my lap. So. She usually Tootsie's in my lap doing videos. And we are trying out a new mic for for videos. I hope the sound is a lot better. We I don't know. Can y'all see what I'm doing? Sometimes this light is so bright I can't even tell where I've been. Okay, the background is going to be blue. Ultramarina blue. That's the reason we got the blue on the palette. And I'm going to put it pretty, not strong, strong, but I'm not doing it lightly. Does that make sense? I mean, I'm wanting it, and I'm, I'm wanting it just kind of look like a watercolor. I don't want it smooth. I want the variation of shades and stuff. And I will cover up a lot of stuff. But petals is not what I want. So if those petals on your paper, you know, you you can blend those out. Jesse, you fixing fall, baby boy. Oh, did I tell you that we'll probably be having puppies here soon? You may want more teas? And I'm just going in just like so around my strawberries and you know I may do some more blue. I may add some other colors. I don't think I will. If you don't get down, get down, Jess. 
My dogs is well loved, believe you me, and they know it. <sighs> they get treats. They get about anything they want. My husband says they get treated better than he does most days. I don't know about that, but So, who's getting ready for Christmas? I don't know Christmas will be here before we know it. What I like about a round and then a flat is you can use it as a flat. Well, and make a mess. They'll all be okay. It's just paint and water and paper. Uh, and go in. Do little details also. And make a mess. I don't know how I did that, but anyways, it'll be fine. We'll just make it a little bit darker. Okay, I'm going in with my 12, and I'm going back in to do my strawberries. Well, they'll be a little bit, and I'm just glazing over them. That's what this is called, glazing. I like to glaze, even water with watercolor or, or even acrylics or oils. I always glaze, seems like. And don't touch your wet paper because you'll have a handprint on it. And to me, watercolor is difficult to learn. I mean, 
me. It was one of the hardest things for me to learn. And like I said, I'm still learning the tricks of the trade. Now I'm just going in with the blue and I'm just going to do touch ups. Woo, not like that. Up around close to my the vines and just kind of give it a darker shadow. And I'm just using my 12 to do this. Where it looks more, because I don't like the white. And just blend it out, folks. <sighs> and I am trying to stay in camera. If pieces of it is a little bit darker than others, that's fine. See these little white spots? I cannot handle that. I know a lot of people can't. I can't. I don't think a painting is finished until these all the white spots took up. Now, if they're supposed to be the one, that's one thing. But if it's not supposed to be the one, then it's got to go. Okay, now, this is the fun part. I am taking some Zep Green. And y'all, I don't use a lot of black and watercolors. Because I was told you don't. That's why. But I'm going to make a black green, zap green, a dark green, and to go in to paint my vine, the vines on my leaves, just like so. <sighs> Because it will give it a more of a finished look. And I did not go back on my leaves with the Zap Green. I kind of like the leaves like they was. Okay. Hmm. 
I see I'm going in just doing touch ups and this is what main, I mean I'm finishing it up folks I promise you and if you stick with me this far I, I appreciate it and I thank you for watching okay we are going to do our black dots on the strawberries and we are just going to use solid black and I'm just using my round eight and just using the tip of it And we are done. And now all we like is signing our names. And I am going to sign it with a paintbrush. And with the size 8, I'm making like like an ink consistent of black. And just going to put Angie. Nine nineteen. That's how I sign my paintings. I hope you enjoy this video. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to us below. And hope you join us soon for our next video. <clears throat> I'm planning on filling up this sketch pad soon. Just with paintings and different step mixed media ideas. So come back and see us. Have a blessed day. We'll catch you next time. Bye.